Well, severe weather that ravaged countries down south earlier this month is top of mind for many at a late night art party right now. They are raising money for those affected by Hurricane Matthew and they're doing it in style. The event is being held in a very unconventional location. Janella Massa is there right now. Tell us about where you are right now, Janella. Well, Pam, it's not, I'm in the Portlands and it's not unusual to see these types of shipping containers in this industrial neighborhood, but here they're being used to house art installations and much more. This fundraising event is a part of a launch party for uh, a company called Giant Container Services. They've been uh, selling and modifying and renting shipping containers since about 2008, and they say there is an appetite growing for using these types of structures for more creative purposes. That, like you can have fun and not in only nightclubs you can have fun in like DIY spaces and hopefully push the city to uh, open more DIY spaces and allow different creatives like myself on disposable to kind of do more outside of uh, the generic um, uh, holes that we have right now anything from housing to kitchens to laboratories basically whatever you can think of that you can build inside of a shipping container um, kind of like Lego that's what we do here you could live in one absolutely there's a huge advantage to building with shipping container homes it's a, a significant cost so not only can we recycle some of these shipping containers but we can also build with them reuse them at a better structural standpoint um, where we're dealing with wood versus steel here right so there's a huge advantage and uh, not to mention it, it lasts up to I believe 8.0 on the on the Richter scale for earthquakes so they're a lot more uh, uh, strong. We kind of wanted to showcase this space and at the same time we're doing something really great and donating all proceeds to Red Cross to help uh, Hurricane Matthew victims. Now builders say one of the challenges is working with municipalities to get shipping containers like these into residential areas. As for the cost they can go anywhere from about $1,500 all the way up to $250,000 Seeds are going to go to the Red Cross for victims of Hurricane Matthews.